Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about the Jenkins Home Directory, explain to you what it is, what goes in there, and more importantly, how to change that Jenkins Home Directory location. So what is Jenkins Home? Where is Jenkins Home and how do you change it? Well, I'm over on Windows here and you can see I've got that users folder and the user I'm currently logged in with is owner. And under there you got this dot Jenkins folder here. That is the Jenkins Home. It's got information about all the jobs you run, the logs that have been generated, and then even the workspace. So whenever one of these build jobs runs, it actually creates a new workspace over here where it puts all the files that it pulls from the remote repository and all the results of building it as well. You can see some source files in there and that was all pulled from GitHub. So this is kind of an ugly folder to have your Jenkins repository. The other problem is the fact that only owner can access it, right? So those have got some pretty serious user rights associated with it. So you might want to change uh, that Jenkins home variable. Well, how do you do it? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your environment variables. You come over here, you look for your edit the system environment variables on Windows, click environment variables and add a new system variable and just Jenkins underscore home screaming snake case as you notice. And I'm going to put mine in C colon slash underscore tools slash JH. That should be easy to remember. So I'll click OK. I'll click OK. And then I come over to here to tools and it's, hey, there's no JH in there. Well, don't worry. You've got to actually stop and start Jenkins for that to happen. So here's my Jenkins runtime. I'm going to click the X there. And I'm going to go back into that Jenkins folder. The Jenkins folder is where I actually have Jenkins, a little batch file to start the Jenkins war file. So I'll start Jenkins up right now. And as Jenkins starts, you notice that JH, Jenkins home folder gets created. It's now being populated with all of this beautiful data. There you go, you can see it's all being run. Now here's the problem. The problem that I'm gonna encounter now is I lost all of that beautiful information that was in Jenkins home before. So for example, if I come over here, there's my old Jenkins. You can see the shared Jenkins library pipeline. If I go back to port 8080, it wants to do a brand new install for me. Now, if you want to clean Jenkins home, if you want to clean Jenkins environment, that's actually all you have to do. Just put Jenkins home to a different folder, maybe delete Jenkins home. Uh, the, the Jenkins installer will think it's a brand new repository and just do a reinstallation. Now, I'm going to close that window, which means I've stopped Jenkins and I'm going to go back to that old folder. I'm going to delete all the content in that JH folder right now. Delete, delete, delete. And then I'm going to go back to the old Jenkins home, which was right here, dot Jenkins. And I'm going to click control A. I'm going to click control C, even right click and copy and take all of that content and just paste it right over here into this JH folder. That's the new Jenkins home that I just configured in system properties. If you don't believe me, I can just go over here and there you go, underscore tools slash JH. I'll paste all of that content in there and now I'll start Jenkins once again and watch what happens. Jenkins home will have been uh, changed or at least updated to use that JH folder. But the really cool thing that happens now is that when it starts up, all of the previous jobs that were configured and all of the things that were set in Jenkins home before are already there. So it's not going to try and do uh, reinstallation. It's not going to ask me for my secret password when I log back in again all of the configuration from the previous installation is going to be there. So I'll type in localhost 8080. We'll notice that it doesn't ask me for that special login ID. I can use the old password, which is Jenkins Jenkins. Sign in. And there you go. I've got that old Jenkins build job that I had previously. It's still there. It hasn't disappeared. I've now recreated and moved the Jenkins home. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins and GitHub and DevOps and enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.